Is that it? <coughs> I should never do that, ever. Hi everyone. As you can see, I'm in my kitchen. This is my kitchen. That's my roommates. Although I do like Wicked. It's a good show. Um, so, a lot has been going on since I last updated you. I'm out everywhere, I guess. Um, I came out to my mom. My mom was like the first big person I came out to. And I came out to her on December 19th, so it's been a little while. And I only remember the date because she remembers the date and she says, December 19th, a week before Christmas, couldn't you have waited? And I probably could have, but I really, it was, it was making me very anxious being in the house with them and, um, and having this secret that I felt like I couldn't share, so I finally just shared it with her. Um, and she kind of, um, took it badly, let's just say. Uh, but she's slowly coming around, I think, I hope. Fingers crossed there. Uh, I came out to my sister after that, um, and the first thing out of her mouth was, I love you and support you no matter what, which was awesome. Uh, so she and her husband have been great. They've uh, since told me that the child that they are eventually going to conceive and have uh, will only know me as Uncle Adam. So that's cool. Uh, I came out at school. School was great. Uh, I came out to my professors. All of them were great. Um, my Greek professor, I take Greek, um, ancient Greek. I can't really speak modern Greek at all. So, you know, if you need to know about slaves or cattle or the Lord, I can totally be your Greek man. But other than that, kind of useless. My Greek professor had a funny reaction, which is a non-reaction. He didn't respond to the email. And uh, since that email, he has not really called me anything in class. So before I came out, he had been calling me Miss so-and-so. I'm not going to tell you my last name. But now, he doesn't call me anything. <laughs> like, if, if he needs me to do something, he just sort of, like, looks at me pointedly until I start reading. <laughs> it's like, really, dude? So I don't know what his deal is, but everyone else has been great. My dad was the most recent person I came out to, uh, the most recent big person. And I sent him a big long email uh, like I did with my mom, but I left out all the parts about hormones and top surgery. And uh, I really didn't know what to expect at all. He, no one knew what to expect. But my mom, my mom said, I'm the reasonable parent when she was having her, her less than stellar reaction. And you know, you can't tell your father. And you know, I, I, you know, it was always just a sort of, why can't I tell him? And no one knew because no one knew what he was going to do. My sister was like, maybe you should wait a little while and, you know, let mom be on more on board with it before you tell him. So he has someone to talk it out with because he might not take it well, but no one really knows. And so it became this huge thing that was just looming over me like a shadow. And it was like, dad, don't tell dad. Um, Sorry, I'm a little, a little funny right now. I finally plucked up my courage and sent him the email. And 30 minutes later, he sent me an email back that said, Adam, I love you, son. Dad. My dad is not very verbose, but he got his point across pretty well, I think. Uh, it's a huge affirmation and cried like a baby <laughs> um, and it was wonderful it was a wonderful moment I know that he's still having a hard time with it and processing it in his own way but the fact that that was his initial reaction was amazing so yeah my dad's awesome other major things um, top surgery I scheduled my top surgery appointment today like like nine hours ago. So I scheduled top surgery with Dr. Garamoni for May 27th. Holy shit, it's happening in three and a half months. That's insane. Hell yes. Yes.
I felt really overwhelmed after I got off the phone with their office. And I just felt like very emotional. This is just something I've been thinking about for two years now, even before I even before I um, came out as trans, even before I had rediscovered that part of myself. It's finally real, and it's finally happening, and I can get rid of the thing that causes me the most dysphoria. Moving on to a more true uh, self, coming home to self, and and realizing the body that I've always seen for myself and the thing that I've always wanted for myself. <coughs> I'm going to end this now because I think I might be dying. just wanted to give an update, and things are progressing, and I'm really, really happy. And I feel just really on track for the first time in my life. Come here, Obi. Ooh, Obi, Obi, Obi. This is my dog. He's hard to see because he's got that black fur. This is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi, look at the camera. Obi, look at the camera. <gasps> Hi, buddy. Oh, you're so pretty. Yes, you are. Mwah. Bye. Bye.